I'm disgusted. Joe and Hunter have ruined my name forever. Hello, my name is Peter Merrick. And up until this afternoon when I started reading about what was found on Hunter's phone and also confirms what everyone's known about what disgusting stuff has been on Hunter's laptop. And don't forget Mr. Wiener. He had over 600,000 emails that were found that grown men puked in the uh, New York police. Well, the reason why I'm disgusted and why my name has been tarnished, Peter, is because they discovered that their nicknames, both Hunter and Joe Sr., is Pedo Pete. I'm disgusted. That is absolutely disgusting. I can just imagine. You know, I remember when things were simple, that there was decency. And I also remember the first moment decency was thrown out the window. A president of the United States was caught with an intern. And since then, everything has gone to shit. So you can trace a lot of things back to the last 40 years of the decay. But Bill Clinton, a lot of it, a lot of bills were passed. For one, the telecommunication bill that allowed these big companies to buy all forms of media. So right now, there's only five companies that control 90% of all media in the United States. GMOs were passed, too. You forget about that? Do you also forget that Bill had Chinese dignitaries stay in the White House? How about the death count? All the people are no longer here. And then afterwards, did you know that Bill Clinton, because he lied, lied, perjured himself, had his law license taken away. And then it was very interesting how he would get these half a million dollar speaking gigs. And then after he would speak for about 15 minutes, hundreds of millions of dollars were given to the Clinton Foundation. Did you guys know anything about the Clinton Foundation? It was very noble when they said they were buying and distributing AIDS medication. Well, guess what? They were just a consolidator. They never gave any money to help. How about Haiti? (laughs) You had both President Bush and President Clinton, two really brilliant men. They actually headed it up under Obama. Guess what? Think about this, $14 billion disappeared. And how about when Hillary was having some problems and getting a little nervous when Donald Trump was going to get elected, the Clinton Foundation moved all its money out of the United States to the Middle East. No one ever asked these questions. They're just questions. You know, you want to be ethical, you want to work, you need to live in a society that you can trust your leaders, you can trust that the law will be followed. And what if it's not? How do you make a living? How do you trust? See, the reason why America and the West have done so great is because these were countries of laws that you knew just as you knew when you woke up, you would see the sun rise in the east and set in the west. That's what people expect from a good economy, that they can trust what's going to happen, that their political leaders have ethics. But I'm going to go and leave where I started. This all began with Bill Clinton. 
this man perjured himself. This man passed laws. Let's talk about the laws. He actually reformed the criminal codes in the United States. So young African men found themselves going to jail for life. And guess who also helped them? Who pushed it through the Senate? Good old Joe. You know the guy who actually ruined my name? He actually pushed it. So I'm not making any judgments. Well, that's a lie I am. I'm asking you to make judgments too. What type of society do you want to live in? What society? Who do you want to run your country? I'm going to leave you with a story of Cincinnati. You heard of Cincinnati? Well, Cincinnati was George Washington's, Washington's hero. Because George Washington aimed to be as much like Cincinnati as he could. Who was Cincinnati? During the Roman Republic. There's a difference between republic and empire. You guys have watched the Star Wars series. A republic is run by laws. An empire is run by a despot. So during the republic, they were being attacked. And there was a farmer who had been a general. His name was Cincinnati. The Senate, the Roman Senate, came to him and said, please step in and be the dictator. He goes and he puts down his plow and he takes up the sword and he goes and they put down the rebellion and he saves the republic. They continue to offer him to remain to be the dictator. And he said, no, I came here to save the republic. He passes on his authority back to the Senate. He goes back to his farm and he takes up the plow. Do you know George Washington was offered to be king? Could you believe that? And most people don't know why he was offered to be king. Because they needed to pay their debts for the revolution. But nobody could actually lend money to the young country of America, the United States, because there was no sovereign. He said no. And they were able to go and secure those loans through other ways where every American, unlike any other nation in the world, everybody on the land, born on the land, is a sovereign. Think about that. Control over themselves. George Washington, after two terms, laid down the sword, laid down the gavel, and ended his life at Mount Vernon with the plow. Those are the type of leaders we need. We have those leaders, and they happen to be the kings and queens of Main Street. Women and men who spent their entire life supporting, working, for the community, for their families, for their nations. They've been keeping to themselves, and now they're being called upon to put down their plows and take up the sword, whether it's political or whether it is getting active in their community, and enforcing the laws that have made the West the greatest idea that humanity has ever experienced. You don't think that this has happened before it has. But just like Cincinnati, we must put down our plows and step forward because this is your time. This is our time. I want to leave you with this thought. When you look back on your last days, who were you? Were you someone who lived on your knees or are you willing to die on your feet? Are you sovereign? Are you free? Or are you a slave?